When you look online at Amazon or when you go into the big box pet supply stores, you will find harnesses that are cheap. There's no better way to say it, guys. The problem with these is that the material is so thin and while it might look like it's a nice little rectangular piece, once it goes under your dog's belly and you apply an upward pressure, what was this wide turns this wide and it cinches up. It would be like walking with a belt under your belly. It's going to cinch up and can pinch your dog and really kind of not feel comfortable. It can even be painful to them. So I want to show you this ginger lead harness and what makes it so good. There are lots of reasons. Let's look at those now. All right. Number one, the material is amazing. I wish you could feel this because it's plush. It's not wimpy. The corduroy side will be facing down. You take the other loose side, put it underneath. This is a built-in leash. I'm going to describe what this does after. Put it all together, fasten it on the Velcro. And now what you have is a comfortable for you holder. You can maintain all of this with ease. And this is also padded too, which is really nice. It feels really good and sturdy in my hand. Let's talk about this piece. This is like a little break. You can apply gentle pressure and then you're in control of how fast your dog moves. That is awesome. This harness has pads that come in two shapes. This rectangular one is for female dogs. The one with the cutout is for males. Now I want to show you a picture that they have on the box as to how this should fit on a male dog. The harness gets placed in front of their penis, not on top of it. Obviously the harness would get in the way of the urine stream, right? And a male dog is not going to be likely to urinate if a harness is pushing up against their anatomy. So I want to show you a picture of what that looks like right here from the box. Do you see how the harness is in front? The next thing that they include in the box are these optional stay on straps. You do not need to use this. If you happen to let go of the handle, the harness would fall off, right? But not if you use these little Velcro fasteners. I'll show you what that looks like on the box. This is what the straps look like without the fasteners. But if you wrap the fastener around there, it cinches those straps up and I'll show you that next. See how they're tighter to the dog's body. The harness comes in four sizes. So whether you have a tiny dog or a big giant, Ginger Lead has you covered. Not all dogs get used to having someone help them walk with a harness, but Ginger Lead has this informational sheet to help you learn how to acclimate your dog to wearing the harness and just having you help them move along. Thanks Ginger Lead.